Mara Aramov. You both seem to know her pretty well. It's a long story. Who's she working for? I thought you said she worked for Markinson. I'm not sure anymore. He has finally broken. Grigoriev is being held at point 36. <sighs> point 36. What is point 36? Point 36 is a women's gulag in Siberia. It's located in the city of Kazakh, Russian for white tomb. You mean Algier prison? What? Built during the Stalinist purges to house the wives and mothers of political dissidents. It was shut down by Khrushchev in 54. Supposedly. But it wasn't. You both seem to know a lot about it. I read a lot, especially about repressed women. Thousands of women died there. No idea where their children or husbands were. If the prison didn't kill them, the cold and heartbreak did. I haven't read about it. I've been there. I was held there eight years ago after being captured in Afghanistan. My first assignment for the PRC. Before the agency recruited me. A woman's gulag that doesn't exist. A perfect place to make political prisoners disappear. It would appear that Glasnost has its limits. There is more. Grigoriev has been investigating an international arms consortium. The same group that controls your agency. It wants ours as well. Grigoriev played along when they were content to sell arms to the Sandinistas and Contras and were fueling the war between Iranians and Iraqis. The SVR didn't care. Let the West destroy itself. Exactly so. But the siphon filter virus changed everything. Grigoriev discovered that Xi Hao was going to purchase the virus. The leader of the Heilongjiang. The province is trying to break away from the PRC. It is not broken away yet. This province has been contested by our two countries for over 400 years. If Xi Hao is successful, the PRC will go to war. And Russia will be drawn in as well. Xi Hao will see to that. The only person who can stop the arms transfer now is Gregorov. That's why he was at the Farcom warehouses at the same time we were. He was looking for the same data disks. Where he also thought he'd gotten all the data. For security reasons, Grigoriev kept all of his files hidden. The imposter was unsuccessful in his attempt to locate them. And we knew nothing of it. We have to break him out. You do not have much time. They have already ordered his execution. Grigoriev will die in an electric chair tomorrow night at midnight. I'll go in. No, you're not strong enough to. I have to do this, Gabe. It's Please. my life at stake if we don't get the other half of the Farcom data. And it's my people who will die if Shi Hao gets phase two of the siphon filter virus. Besides, I'm the only one who knows the layout of the prison. Okay, he's yours. I hope you know what you're doing. So get the crossbow, not crossbow, the taser out here. Um, as you can probably tell, we're going to have another stealth required mission. So it's another one of those if you fuck up once, then it's a mission failure segment, which this game has a lot of. However, I don't have a problem with it in this section because it makes sense we need to be stealthy because we're going to save Gregor. And it kind of makes sense that if we get spotted, they're going to know, oh, hey, somebody's trying to rescue him. Let's just go ahead and kill him now. Yada, yada. Yada. So I actually don't have a problem with it here. I just have issue with all the headshots in normal combat. That's really the only issue I have with the one shot mission failure. And you can see a woman guard is beating another woman. <laughs> I don't know why I'm kind of entertained by that, except for the fact that I'm a terrible person. But I am going to go rescue her, so I'm going to redeem myself here. Yeah, I don't know. I'm kind of amused by that. Pavel? Pavel? Taze her. I had a lot of trouble with that. Now, I accidentally cut this, so you missed, you missed Leon just saying to that chick that we rescued that you're going to be okay but how she's going to be okay when all we did was tase the guard they're going to wake up eventually and then they're going to be kind of pissed so i don't know how she plans on being okay i don't know why we didn't bring silenced pistols like a silenced pistol and a silenced sniper rifle that really does not make any sense 
I don't know why we can't kill these guards. That is one issue I have with the stealth required segments of this game is you can't kill anybody like you could on the first game. So that, that does kind of bother me. So be careful when you walk over this way because for some reason he will spot you here. Yeah, we're on a time limit, but we've got an hour, so it's really not that big of a deal. David, we need to get over in here. There we go. So I want to apologize for if that opening cutscene, the very end of that, looked a little jacked up. Yeah, tase this guy in here because there's another guard out there, and then they will see it if you don't tase him in here. So we need to, and this next little bit is just going to be me trying to figure out where the guard is, where I need to be in order to see the guard, and then figure out how to leave. So this is going to take a little bit. But yeah, I don't know why. My game disc has had some problems playing these cutscenes lately. And fortunately, that time I got most of it. So all I needed was one little frame or like one little segment of it. So I was able to go on the internet and get that. There's going to be another segment like that too. But, you know, again, I went ahead and got the cutscene off the internet. So it's not a big deal. But my first time I watched that cutscene, because I, I watched the opening cutscene to the next mission after each mission I complete, it played it just fine. So I don't know why it had a problem when I went to record this. It took me several attempts to get it to even play that much, and I just left it at that and figured, well, you know what, I got most of it, so I'll just get the rest off the internet. So if that looks at all jacked up, I apologize, but my game disc is being a bitch lately. It's probably just pissed off. I used a Game Shark for parts of the last section. That's my guess, anyways. I could be wrong. So, yeah, we're just waiting for her. Um, there's going to be another, like I said, there's going to be another segment like that. It's very brief and not really that important. And let's go. And one other segment, which I'll explain when we get there. Leon, get around that corner. Thank you. All right, so now we're going to wait for these people to turn their backs and leave, and we're going to have to do some more wall hanging, although it's not nearly as extensive as that one mission with Gabe, so I won't be cutting any of that. It's just a brief little segment. I do like that they added that into this game. I don't remember them having that. I think you could do that, but there was never a segment where you needed to do that in the first game that I can remember. So that's kind of cool. So something funny happened. Uh, I say funny. I don't know. Something kind of cool. On my Silent Hill 1 LP, somebody posted a comment asking if I'm really blind. I call most of these videos I do walkthrough by a blind man. And it's only been this year I've started calling them walkthrough let's plays. I don't... I don't know. I don't know if I should go back to calling him walkthrough by a blind man. I kind of like it, but I didn't really feel like it would make sense to people. Or I, I don't know. I just, for whatever reason, decided to call it walkthrough let's play just to make it a little more generic. I, I don't know why I did that, but I don't know if God, this place is depressing too. Aww. I don't know why I decided to change that, but I did. But yeah, they they asked me if I'm really blind, and it led to exchange of some comments back and forth where they were just asking questions about you know my vision and whatnot and it was mostly the same questions I get asked repeatedly whenever somebody asks me about that and some of them are kind of funny but you know like, it was cool because you know somebody was taking an interest in that so I don't know I was okay with that it's kind of cool it's just kind of funny to me to get the question this person asked this and again this isn't making fun of anybody I'm using the crossbow here I wanted that checkpoint, and I don't care enough about the two-player arena you get if you go without using the crossbow, which is the secret for this level. And there's no checkpoint. I, I, I did that one segment several times between the last checkpoint and this, so I, did, I wanted that checkpoint. And these guys are just talking in Russian, and they're just going to kind of walk past. So. I don't really mind talking over the scene. I don't really know why. We, uh, I guess we'd have to have a cutscene just to know that they were coming, I guess. All right, so come this way.
But yeah, it's kind of cool. It's just like, it's funny to me. And, you know, again, this commentary isn't making fun of anybody. We need to come back this way because otherwise we're going to get spotted. And I don't see this guy on the radar, but we need to wait till he comes this way and then comes back. And there should be an audio cue. Like, he should give us some dialogue when he's heading the other way. But, yeah, it's kind of funny to me just to get the question, uh, how much do you see or what can you see or you know, stuff like that. It's funny to me because, you know, and again, this isn't making fun of anybody or anything like that. I appreciate people taking an interest, and I appreciate this person taking an interest. It's just funny to me because, to me, the question is kind of vague. And since I was born with my vision the way it is, I, I don't really know how to answer that because I don't know how much you guys who see normally see. So it's kind of funny. But again, that's not meant to be me making fun of anybody. I thought it was cool that somebody took an interest to ask questions about it. I thought that was pretty awesome, actually. So that's kind of funny thing I wanted to share. But yeah, it's, it's actually really typical whenever I have been asked questions, just even in person. It, I usually get these, you know, very kind of vague questions. You know, well intended, but just kind of vague. It's just kind of funny. Gabe, this used to be the laundry. Now it's a security checkpoint with cameras and regular patrols. How many guards at the checkpoint? I can't see, but it sounds like there's just one. In that case, the cameras are probably on some kind of rotation. It's just a matter of time. That's something I don't have a lot of. Right. Wait till the camera turns off and then make your move before it comes back on. Got it. Actually, we're not going to do that. And we actually have plenty of time. We have, you know, we started this off with an hour of time. So they gave us plenty of time. Why they even bothered with a time limit, I have no idea. But yeah, we just roll like that and get over here and avoid the camera and we're fine. Yeah, I don't know, that's kind of cool. It was the first time that anybody's ever posted a comment asking about my video. So cool. I, I, I can't remember, but I may have said it in that video. I recorded that video actually back in 2011, all that got re-uploaded in 14. I can't remember. I might have actually said that if anybody had questions, they're more than welcome to ask. I forget. Oh God, Gabe! I've made it to the security checkpoint, but it may be too late. They're taking Gregor off to the execution chamber now. Then you don't have much time. Move now. Holy shit balls! Okay, so go ahead and flip the switch right there. Yeah, we are now down to a minute. Now there's actually a reasonable time limit. We've got to hurry. Gotcha. Hey, actually, go I had probably a minute and a half. I'm going crossbow here because I already didn't get the secret. And like I said before, I don't care about the secret and you might as well use all of them here because we are not going to have the crossbow in the next mission. So, yeah. But we already used two of them, so I am not. I wouldn't really have much ammo for it anyway. So there's going to be two more guys, maybe three, I forget. Dude, on a bit of a time crunch here. Thank you. So as soon as he... Yeah, well, you saw what I did. So I was going to say, as soon as he turns his back, shoot him. But yeah, you, you saw and then I proceeded to say what I did after having to... I don't know. I'm trying to be careful because I know there's one other person, but once we get him, there we go. Yeah, it would have been nice to have this crossbow for the next mission, but I guess it wouldn't really matter. broken out. Good. Perfect cover to get Gregor off out. Sounds like you're under fire. I'm all right. Nothing Ah, this mission. So, quickly turn around. I use the taser here. You can shoot if you want. I just figured why waste the ammo. I think this is actually her last mission, but I didn't know that when I was playing, so get down. What the fuck are you doing? Um, I'm having X button problems at this point. I'm glad I bought a new PS2 controller, but I might have to buy another one. I wanted a backup one. So you're going to get a lot of cuts here to me finding these people. Um, you can headshot them, which is what I do to keep myself undercover. 
So, and I go ahead and use the 45 here. Yeah, this is another segment where just a normal combat, they can headshot you, which I think is pretty dumb. I won't rant over that like I'm pretty sure I did in the last video, but I had to deal with a lot of that in the last video. I am pretty sure that it's not possible. And I'm pretty sure some of these guys with shotguns can headshot you, and I am sorry, but I think it would be nearly impossible to headshot somebody with a shotgun. So we need to come this way to coax some guards that are going to come out. One's going to be up there. Some other ones are going to be over here. And again, they can headshot you. So I just do the strafe like that and then tuck and roll. Get back behind here. When you're good at aiming, you can take them out a lot quicker than I'm going to. But, you know, it's okay. This is how I do it. And I kind of like that. I show a few different strategies on this game for... Those gamers who aren't quite as good as the flashy people who show how awesome they are. And that's nothing against the flashy people who show how awesome they are. You know, it's, it's cool to see how awesome some people are at this game. It's just, I'm not. And so, I don't know. Hopefully I'll provide some alternate strategies for people like me who just aren't very good at this game. That would be kind of nice. Yeah, I, look, I tried to look down there and I saw the guy's feet, but I still couldn't shoot him. So, I had to kind of go up a little bit more there. Damn it, stop shooting the ceiling. At least it looked like was, she was shooting the ceiling there. I'm not really sure. So. All that stealth required were nothing. There was actually no point in having that last mission being stealth required. I, I don't really have a problem with it, actually, but it's just kind of funny that, you know, they did this in Siphon Filter 1 as well. Stealth required, and then you ended up being... Well, we weren't really spotted here. Well, I guess we were, actually. Uh, it's just kind of funny to me. Hey, we're making this mission stealth required, but then, oh, you're going to have to run through here being spotted. Well, we're in a different area of the prison anyway, so I don't know. And I get kind of lucky here. As I'm aiming, I don't have to go from out from behind the corner to be able to shoot that guy. I like it when I get those am angles on an enemy. That's pretty fun. And I crouch here to get this guy because I figure I'll make a headshot. No, I don't know if it actually does or not. But I feel like it did. And I'm trying to be very careful because I know there's going to be enemies right around another corner and this area is looking very blurry to me. So I was having a lot of trouble trying to figure out how to go where I need to go without running into these people. At the time when I got here, this was the furthest I'd made it. I got killed on this section here. I took that guy out, no problem. But there's another guy here and then another guy with a 45 who can headshot you. So... What I'm trying to do is coax this guy out so I can shoot him. I don't know if he can headshot you or not, but I'm using a shotgun, so that takes him out quick enough. Fortunately, now I know about this guy, so now I can actually fight him from around a corner and have much less of a risk of death. Come on, guy. Dick. I know I've said it before and I repeat myself a lot, but I do really like that you can lean out from behind a corner and shoot people. I think it's cool for combat and for stealth. And if you notice, we have not received a checkpoint at all this mission. The mission switched over after that cutscene, so we're in a different mission now. Man, I'm getting pelted with bullets, but at least it's not grenades. I think these guys actually have grenades, so... I can somewhat live with that, actually. And it takes me a while to find the proper camera angle. I had to go out a little bit more. But I needed a decent camera angle. I was trying to be cautious because, like I said, they do have grenades. So I was trying to be a little cautious, but I got them. So we're good. I'm going with the shotgun here because we're going to have some enemies come up within close range. So just take them out. There we go. Not too bad. I lost some armor, but, you know, we'll get more. There are a number of guards with flak jackets in this level. 
And oddly enough, that very first section of this mission, which started once she mentioned the riot and all that, that first segment, up until about this point, I had all kinds of trouble with. Well, I told, I mentioned as far as I'd gotten before now. The rest of this, I did on first try. So I'm kind of proud of myself, actually. I might wouldn't be if I were actually good at these games, but since I'm not, well... Yeah, that guy doesn't really fuck with you, but I tase him anyways. I think I actually showed him mercy by tasing him there, which I probably shouldn't have done, but... He's probably gonna die anyways. He may not. I don't. I don't also don't know. Gabe, there's someone else in here. I just found a room full of dead guards. Could it have been prisoners? No, it's a secured area. The majority of the rioters are confined to the cell blocks. The Russians say they don't know of any other operatives working the prison. Watch your back. <coughs> oh yeah, always out. Yeah. And more people. Come back this way. I like that they are consistent. Like, I get a little sick of hearing her cough, but I like that they're consistent about that. Like, they don't forget about the fact that she's actually sick right now doing all this. Which actually makes her pretty cool. I mean, she should be resting right now, but she's out doing this stuff. Uh, she's, she's kind of an awesome character. I've really grown to appreciate her more. I feel like... We've had six straight missions with her, which I think is a little excessive. And I feel like the story's kind of fallen off a bit since we started playing as her. But I like her. Um, she's, like I said, she's, she's sick and she's running around doing all this. So it's pretty impressive. So now we are looking for Gregoroff, and then we're going to have protection duty. Yay! It's actually not that bad. Mara? Gregoroff! The Unseen! Gregoroff! What was Mara doing here? Yes, Mara Aremov. Yes, she was here to witness the execution. But when the power went out, she killed the guards. I... I do not understand. Neither do I, Yuri. <coughs> but there's no time. We're going over the wall. I have two tanks of air at the bottom of the river. Yes, I am ready. But you do not look so well, Lian Shing. What I'm is I'm fine, the... I'm fine. I'll tell you all about it when we get out of here. Let's go. Leon, behind you! Yeah, turn around and start shooting. Yuri, <coughs> can you fight? No, I am too weak. The beatings. Got it. <coughs> Look, I want you to stay behind me. Move only when I tell you. Understood? Duh. All right, so I'm going to go with the shotgun here. Um, you'll see why in a second here. I'm apparently full on shotgun ammo. I didn't. I was not aware that you could actually fill up on shotgun ammo. Well, I guess it makes sense, but they don't provide you with a set number. I guess it's 25. So I'm going to go with shotgun ammo here just because I have a, a cache of it right back there. And I won't make y'all watch me go back to pick that up either. So you're welcome. I don't know what they shot that had electricity on there, but that's cool. Yeah, take these guys out, and then we are going to proceed. I actually don't know why Armoff, or is that her name, Armoff, Arama, whatever the hell her name is. I don't know why she shot. Oh god. Clear! Yuri! I don't know why she shot those guards. It kind of seems silly. I guess they'll explain that later, maybe. There we go. Alright, so now I'm gonna go back and I am alright. Move ahead. Gregoroff, what the fuck are you doing in my way, dude? God damn it, if I can't get that shotgun ammo, I'm gonna be pissed. Oh, there we go. 
All right, so now that that's out of the way, like I said, you're welcome. I didn't make y'all watch me go all the way back to grab the shotgun ammo. I'm nice, and this video is long enough as it is. Now, well, we basically just shoot other bad guys. That's what this mission mostly is, anyways. Aw. No! It's actually kind of sad. Although, at least their pain ends. I mean, I, I can't blame them. I mean, they were being tortured and everything, and while well, it would have been nice for them to get out safely. Crap. There we go. <coughs> Yuri! All clear! <coughs> Damn it! Leon, you're not going to be able to save everyone. Stay focused on the mission. <coughs> right. Out. I hear a lot of action on the other side of that door. The riot must have spilled into that cell block. <coughs> Wait here while I check it out. Actually, I'm going to go get armor before we do that. But yeah, I like I like that. I don't know if I finished my thoughts on that, but I like that they at least did consistent with you know having her coughing to show that she is still actually sick i think that was a good decision because i could see a lot of games of this time just ignore that fact except for in cutscenes you know maybe in cutscenes but just throughout the game just kind of ignore that fact I'm trying to coax another dialogue here I'm trying to not have to go very far to do it but i'm gonna have to snipers pull back all right so he's basically saying to her that He's got a smoke grenade that he got from a guard, and so she's telling him that, all right, well, we're going to throw it, or you're going to throw it, and then take off running, and I'm going to be right behind you. I don't know why I had no audio for that cutscene. I could have got that off of the internet, too, but I'd already done it twice already, and I didn't feel like doing it again, so that's all you're missing there. Why did you stop? The security gate is closed. Can you shoot the lock from here? Fantastic. No problem. I don't good think shot. you have to be very precise with that. Uh, just hit the box and I think you're good. Come on. Yeah, I can't remember if I mentioned this, but Leon mentioned to a prisoner that we saved that you should be safe now. And I cut that dialogue as well. Not a big deal, but just... Little, little things that would have been nice to have in there, but eh, whatever. Yeah, hopefully my game won't fuck up anymore with cutscenes. <coughs> Those women are out of control. We've got to get through to them. <coughs> get them to let us by. You are obviously not a prisoner. I am a man. I do not think they will listen to us. And we've got to find some way to get past them. <coughs> I lost my crossbow when the power went out, so I'll have to find something else. You wait here. <laughs> and I used the crossbow in the last mission anyway, so we would have had one shot with it. So, not really that big of a deal, to be honest. So, come this way. Yeah, I think they should have showed those prisoners at least shooting guards, because it seemed like they were just shooting wildly, which I guess kind of makes sense that said they lost their minds I mean they have been tortured after all so it kind of makes sense that they had kind of lost it a little bit so if you remember one of the first things that happens in mission two of the first game if you run head on into this segment then you're gonna get another one of those sequences except it's gonna be a woman this time instead of a guy and probably I don't know if it's a guard or a prisoner so I don't know if we should feel bad for her or not, because that, I mean, that's got to be a crappy way to go. Yeah, you can hear it there. Fortunately, this fire doesn't seem to burn us like it does in the first game. Which, I appreciate them letting up on that, at least. But yeah, so it's just like in Mission 2, where those guys would come running at you and you'd have to shoot them before they burn you. So this guy has tear gas and he's gonna shoot me with it and it paralyzes me. You end up stuck there for a little bit. 
So wait till that wears off. I just ran out. I tried shooting him from around the corner and just kept getting hit and couldn't do anything. It doesn't actually damage you, but it does paralyze you. So I just decided, you know what, I'm just going to run straight at him, shoot him, get him down at least. That way when I get paralyzed, at least I've accomplished something. You know, and although he has infinite amounts of shots, once we pick up his weapon, we've only got one, one tear gas round. That's fair. That's totally fair. I, you know, I'm, I'm happy with that. Note the sarcasm in my voice. But yeah, these chicks are just shooting wildly at nothing. It's kind of funny. Not funny what happened to them, just kind of funny that they are just shooting wildly. I'd be shooting at guards. But whatever. Shoot them with that. Very good. We may get out of here yet. I thought there was dialogue there. Maybe he said it and I talked over it. Alright, so I went back for a flak jacket since I got hit there. That was on that one guy. Maybe it wasn't on... I don't know if it was on that guy with the tear gas or it was just behind him somewhere. Either way, I went back for a flak jacket. Stuff. So, well, I thought I did. Maybe I didn't. Maybe I thought there was a flak jacket back there, but there wasn't. So what I'm trying to do right now is coax some other enemies out. This section is going to be edited as well because it's a pain in the ass. It's not really a big deal. I don't think these guys can headshot you, and I'm pretty sure if they can headshot you, they would have headshot me. So, I'm pretty sure they can't. Don't trust me on that. Probably on hard mode, they probably can. But, yeah. And, I mean, if you've been watching this these LPs, these LPs, if you've been watching these videos up till now, you kind of know how I edit a lot of these fights anyway, so you'll kind of know what to expect. They run around a lot and are kind of a pain in the ass to deal with. So, you don't want to see me running around chasing them around everywhere. You can see that they're just kind of taking off. I go with the machine gun there. They have flak jackets, some of them do. So I go with the machine gun there just because that way I can, if I miss, I can just keep shooting. And this guy was over here. I think I had to run around and chase him. Yeah, I think he's going to run around on the other side. And I ran out of machine gun ammo, which sucks. Actually, it's not really that big of a deal, but still. You know. It's kind of annoying because it's really helpful for this segment. Yeah, they don't really stand their ground and fight. They like to run around a lot. Which makes sense because it makes them more annoying and more difficult to deal with. So, they should be all down now. I am running around looking, checking their bodies, trying to make sure I have everything. Is the area clear? Here. <coughs> Take this. I, I think you're strong enough to fight now. Just stay with me. We're almost out of here. I will be right behind you. Hell uh, yeah, motherfucker! Alright, so now he will actually fight this, you know, lumbering, fat old guy. <laughs> uh, it's kind of funny. Dude, your imposter was a dick, I just want to say. Your imposter caused me all sorts of rage. Did not like him. Dude, you should not be running in front of me, alright? Fortunately, he doesn't die incredibly easy, so it's not that big of a deal. On hard mode, he probably would, but at least on this segment, he's not too bad. Because I would get really, really annoyed if he just up and got killed like that. I wish they would at least give you a health gauge for him, because I mean, you know he can be killed. So, it would be kind of nice to know how much health you have on him. Yeah, this segment is pretty self-explanatory. Run around shooting people. Don't let him get killed. Die, and you're you good bastard. to go. And a long video, and I've ran out of things to talk about. Awesome. Yeah, I, ho 
I hope I didn't come across as mean. I'm running around and I'm going to look for stuff, check bodies and stuff like that, which I didn't make you watch. And another guy is going to come up from around here. Behind us! Let's go. Yeah, I hope I didn't come across as in any way, shape, or form mean spirited towards anybody who asked questions about my visual impairment. Because, like I said before, I think it's really cool when somebody takes an interest like that. So, hopefully, I didn't come across in any way, shape, or form mean because I didn't intend anything like that. Of the sword. All right. We've got to make it up to that wall. St <coughs> Stay close. We're almost out of here. <coughs> Are you all right? <coughs> Don't worry about me. Are you ready? Very well. I move when you move. <laughs> she looks so weird in that cutscene, too. Okay, so... Now, we have to be stealthy again. I thought this part was going to be really difficult. It actually isn't. You've got these searchlights. You can't get spotted by them. You can't shoot the searchlights or they'll set off an alarm because we don't have any silenced weapons. Leon, should have brought some silenced weapons. I mean, seriously. So now we've got to be all sneaky. There are a couple guys in here. It's not an auto mission fail if you get spotted here, but... I thankfully managed to do this on my first try, which is nice, because I really didn't want to have to repeat this section over and over again. We don't really get, we don't get another checkpoint, so this is pretty much it for the mission. I don't really want to fuck it up. And like I said, it's actually not that difficult. If I can do this on a first try, then anybody watching this probably can too. So, I think I get lucky there a few times, but whatever, get in here, and you're going to see what happens if he's too far away, even though he's not. Leon, don't he's leave right Gregor here. Like, where the hell? He's right there. He, we didn't leave him anywhere. Gabe? <sighs> whatever. What's the best way to raise turtles? In an elevator! <laughs> oh, God. Yeah. Um, bonus points for anybody who actually knows where I got that from. Stay here. <coughs> when I make it to the tower, you and follow. And thanks to me getting Understood. stuck on something there, now we got to wait all the way for this guy to come all the way back around in order to deal with him. Awesome. I love sitting here waiting for people oh so this is kind of funny I looked on Yelp and saw the average rating for my apartment complex and the average star rating out of 5 was 2 I don't know how many reviews exactly were on there I mean at least 10 you know maybe more I'd have to go back and look but it was just kind of funny that it had that low of a rating now we're watching this guy and we got to tase him too and uh, I went ahead and reviewed it, and I gave it a one-star rating as well. It's actually not quite that bad. And my main issue, I don't know if it's their fault or not. Though I have had my front doorknob fall off and my shower crack. And they were bitches about getting that fixed. Keep moving. I'll cover you. Don't stop for anything until you reach the breaking wall. Move now. My main issue is that our water is always out. It's pretty consistently goes out several times, at least once a week. Sometimes a lot, like this week it's been a lot more, although it hasn't really been that inconvenient except for one or two times. But I've heard that that's a city issue. So I'm not really sure about that. Anyways, we're going to get a last cutscene. So thank you all for watching. And I will see you all next video. Game. <laughs> Be ready for pickup. We're about to get wet. Right. <laughs> Get 
Gabriel Logan, we meet again. Okay. Glad I, to see you alive. I can't breathe. Leon. Leon Singh. You are sure that you will not keep her in hospital here? No, we have a safe house. Without the vaccine, there's nothing you can do. You have what you need now. The agency will have to negotiate with you. You've been a big help, Gregorov. I owe her my life. Good luck to you both. I have a war to stop. You still do not have Leon Singh. And you still do not have phase two of the virus. Is this correct? No, but we will have... Shipment dates have been missed, Mr. Stevens. Soon we will not need her. We will have her shortly. Are you aware Logan has Gregorov? That is impossible. Miss Aramov has taken care of Gregorov. I'm telling you, Logan has him. But it doesn't matter. Logan will try to use Fagan's data disk to negotiate for the vaccine. When he does, we will have her. I am concerned, Mr. Stevens, that you are not being as useful as I had hoped. We have them. It's only a matter of when. You are running out of time. Do not disappoint me.